Tonight, I stand between two bridges and watch the red glow of the day's sun silhouette the hills to the north and west over Fife and Perthshire. On my right, the fourth rail bridge, an icon of Scotland and a testament to the skills of a generation that went before. Who could forget the magic of their first crossing as a young child, looking out the carriage window at the magnificent Haroon Girders while holding hands with mum and dad, or on a school trip to the capital knowing so many famous sons and daughters of this land had travelled the same mile on their way to the far corners of the earth to change and shape forever the world we live in. To my left, the glittering lights from all the cars thread through the pillars of the road bridge as they head north to Fife, Perth, the East Coast and beyond, or south to Edinburgh, the borders, and west on the M8 motorway to that dear green place on the Clyde. The rich, fertile lands of this country, the mountains and seas that give us life, also have a fragile beauty which could so easily be spoiled if they were to be cast thoughtlessly to the wind. In the name of false promises and gains, only for those who care not of the consequences, treasure what we have and can't replace. As sunset gives way to twilight on this summer's night, I think of our new Scottish Parliament and know that future generations will realise the value of this building long after the costs have been forgotten. Tonight, I sleep between two bridges and dream that in the morning when I wake, this, this will be my land. Your land and our land. Scotland.